Now, I really love to use the trackpad on my MacBook, but there are times that I still need a mouse to complete more complex workflows, especially when I'm having a long day in front of the desk and I'm always using the mouse all the time. Having a mouse is really a time saver to do more stuff on my MacBook. Now, the recent mouse that I've got here is the Logitech Lift. This is an ergonomic vertical mouse from Logitech, and it is kind of like a uh, lower end version of the MX Vertical, which is a higher end model, but it's in fact not so much, even though it's missing the MX moniker here, because this is actually fitted for smaller hands. As you can see right here, I didn't have pretty big hands, so the Logitech Lift is actually fitted well for my medium size. Asian hands. So let me tell you about my thoughts after using this for about a week. Now let's talk about the hardware of the Logitech Lift. Now as you can see right over here, the shape is very much like the Logitech MX Vertical or like any other vertical mouse out there. So it is actually shaped in a really nice comfortable position and as you, I lay my fingers just like this, it actually lifts my wrist a little bit as I'm using the mouse very naturally. It doesn't feel force and you might actually find it a little weird when you first start using it but after a while you will actually get used to this really ergonomic position right so on the front here you do actually get a plastic material here which unfortunately is rather scratchable if you don't put it in a protective case and unfortunately logitech doesn't offer one inside the box which is kind of unfortunate because this is something that i really love to bring around with me when i'm working outside so on the back here you do get a really nice rubber grip material Material here that has some uh, texture on it so that it makes you it gives you a really comfortable feel when you lay your palm right over here now on the bottom here you do actually get a button for switching between three devices and this is an optical sensor which actually works really well when tracking on any different surfaces and to change the batteries all you need to do is just pop open this cover over here really simple you don't need any finger nails to pry over the case or whatever and the best thing is that it is powered by only one single double a battery which is one thing that i really love about wireless mices these days now it does come with logitech's latest bolt receiver here which supports up to six devices so if you happen to have any recent logitech devices that supports the bolt usb receiver you can actually pair this mouse with that same receiver as well which is actually really really convenient in terms of buttons, you do get your standard right and left click buttons and you get this really nice scroll wheel that's actually as smooth as my Logitech MX Master 3 which I really like it a lot and you also get a customizable button right over here and finally you get left side click buttons which is actually very useful for customizing some shortcuts over the Logitech Options Plus app. Now one thing I am a little underwhelmed though is that it doesn't come with a side scroll button which is actually useful for uh, scrolling left to right which I use it a lot on my MX Master 3 but I mean this is a 300 ringgit mouse and I shouldn't be expecting that too much on this mouse right now let me show you guys on what's available to customize on the Logitech Leaf on the Logitech Options Plus app. So here's the Logi Options Plus app. As you can see right over here, it is very simple and straightforward. It shows you the battery status and it is connected via Bluetooth. Now, one thing that I'm really happy about is that it supports configuration over Bluetooth. Unlike some other devices that I've tested, they still require you to connect the dongle, which is kind of pointless anyways, right? So this is what you can customize on the Logi Options Plus app, right? So you can configure what you want to do uh, with the middle button in the global settings here. This applies to any where uh, on your system on what you want to do so you can customize some other uh, options here such as uh, change point of speed gestures mission control keyboard shortcut and do some other actions if you want to now that's actually pretty convenient so i could act, i could actually do the emoji action if i want to because that's something that i keep forgetting on my mac every time when i want to use an emoji all right so i might actually just do emojis menu right so Let's just uh, go back and we are done. That's all. It's just as simple to configure a button on the Logitech Leaf. So once I click on it and here we go, here's the emojis menu, all right? So you can also configure it for other apps right over here, which actually feels pretty good because if you happen to use a mouse a lot on your computer and you just don't want to rely on your trackpad, you can customize different actions for different apps such as Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, or even Microsoft Teams, which I find things like, for example, Microsoft Teams to start or stop your video or mute or unmute your microphone 
pretty useful, right? So this is where you can make use of the side buttons of the Logitech Lift. Now, let's head over to other options such as point and scroll here. Now, um, you can actually set how fast you want your wheel to scroll right over here. So currently it is at 50%. So that's actually a pretty decent speed, uh, to be honest. And let me show you how fast it actually goes. So let's just head on over to our website right now and to show you how fast the scrolling speed actually is, all right? So we're gonna load our website in a bit and you should be able to see the scrolling, how fast and how good it is. All right, so let's just do a simple scroll right now. One, two, three, go. See, this is actually pretty smooth, right? I'm just gonna scroll down really slowly and here we go. This is how good the scrolling performance really is on the Logitech Leaf, all right? So you can configure on how fast you want uh, on the Logitech Options app. Right, so let's just go back over here and head on over to Easy Switch. Now, one of the things that I always hated about Mises with uh, multiple switching features is that I kind of forget which devices that my mouse is being paired to. And with this Logic Options Plus app, I'm able to see what devices I am I paired this mouse to previously. And it's really useful that it shows this information in the Logic Options Plus app. And finally, the Logitech Leap also supports the Logi Flow feature, which is essentially a the the ancestor of Mac OS's universal control. Now, Logitech has already pioneered this for quite some time, and it's, and it's not Apple, by the way. And Logi Flow is a really, really nice feature where you can actually uh, use one mouse for multiple computer systems. You can actually uh, switch to a Windows system by just simply moving a mouse to the edge of the screen, and it switches very naturally, just like how you would use multiple displays on your desktop, all right? So this is something that I really, really love. Uh, Logi Flow is a really, really great feature that you should use if you're using like two different computers or you're using two computers at the same time. Now, even though I've just been using the Logitech Live for just about a week, I can tell you that the differences between a standard mouse and this one is really big. Now, starting with the ergonomics here. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you do really need some time to get used to the form factor here, but once you've gotten used to it, you do really find that it has a really comfortable uh, angle that actually makes your palm rest really comfortably, especially on the rubber side right over here. And it also lifts your wrist in a really natural position on how you use the mouse. So for long-term wise, if you're sitting in front of a computer for like six or seven hours a day and keep on using the mouse, this is actually a pretty good investment for the health of your hand and wrist. Now, I would really recommend anyone to go for this one because it actually has some pretty cool features like you see on the Logi Options Plus app and this thing will only cost you about 300 ringgit, which I think is pretty worth investing if you're always working in front of a computer for long hours. So yep, that's pretty much all my thoughts and a review of the Logitech Leaf. So do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to us and follow us on the usual social media. I'm Warren and I'll see you guys in our next one.